Hi, this is the Science Chef. In this video, you'll be learning about the heat of neutralization and how to solve associated problems on heat of neutralization. All right, let's start. Recall that neutralization is a reaction between an acid and a base to form salt and water. Therefore, heat of neutralization, also called the enthalpy of neutralization, represented as delta Hn, is the amount of heat released when one mole of hydrogen ions from an acid reacts with one mole of hydroxide ions from a base to form one mole of water. When this occurs under standard conditions of 25 degrees and 1 atm pressure, it is said to be the standard heat of neutralization of the reaction delta Hn theta. The device used for measuring the standard heat of neutralization is called a glass calorimeter. Just like other heat changes, it is measured in kilojoules per mole, and like combustion, neutralization is an exothermic process. This implies that the value of the heat of neutralization of any reaction will always be negative. The standard heat of neutralization between a strong acid and a strong base is always a constant of about minus 57.1 kilojoules per mole. This is due to the complete ionization of the acid and base in solution, which means that the number of moles of water that will be formed will always be constant due to the fixed amount of hydrogen and hydroxide ions that will be available for reaction in the solution mixture. Whereas the value of the heat of neutralization between a strong acid and weak base and vice versa or weak acid and weak base would not be constant and will also be less than minus 57.1 kilojoules per mole. The reason being the incomplete ionization of the weak acid and or weak base. This concept can be explained as follows. Since a strong acid or base undergoes complete ionization, therefore, one mole of the monobasic acid will produce the Avogadro's number of hydrogen ions in solution, same with the base. So when the strong acid and base react, they will produce an Avogadro's number of water molecules, which is a constant. However, when one mole of a weak monobasic acid like ethanoic acid with a degree of ionization of about 4% dissolves in water, it will produce only about that percentage of Avogadro's number of hydrogen ions. When it reacts with a strong base, even with the complete ionization of the base, they can only produce about 0.04 times Avogadro's number of water molecules because the weak acid would act as a limiting reagent. The same explanation suffices for a weak base. So if minus 57.1 kilojoules of heat is released for every mole of water molecules produced, then for a lesser amount of water molecules produced, a lesser amount of heat would also be released. To calculate the standard heat of neutralization of a reaction, we apply the formula delta H theta equals to minus Q over N, where Q is the amount of heat released in the neutralization reaction between the acid and the base. N is the number of moles of either the acid or the base obtained by multiplying their molar concentrations and volumes in dm cube. Of course, the negative sign shows its exothermic value. As usual, to evaluate Q, we use Q equals to ms times cs times delta T, where ms is the mass of the solution mixture obtained by adding the volume of the acid and the base to get the volume of the solution, then multiplying by the density of the solution in grams per cm cube. Cs is the specific capacity of the solution, and delta T is the change in temperature calculated as T2 minus T1. T1 is always the average of the initial temperatures of the acid and the base solutions, while T2 is the final temperature of the mixture. Let's now see how to apply this formula in solving problems on heat of neutralization. Example 1. 